and we just got a guest in our ch in the back room. Uh, we're going to bring him on right now. Uh, we want to say hello to Drew. Drew, what's going on? Hey, guys. Hey. How are we doing? Thanks for having me on. There's my oh, man. Appreciate. What's up, Drew? Good to, Good to see you, Chris. Nice to meet you. You as well. Where are you at, Drew? Where are you at? I am outside because, so we just got home from at the, we ate at this local Greek restaurant. And my plan was just to hop on real quick. But apparently, I have a leak in my basement. Now there's a guy in here trying to fix it. So we got baby's bedtime and a dude clunking around downstairs in my pipe. So I thought hey. it was best to enjoy the nice, beautiful Indiana weather we got going on. And probably I need to mow the yard. So maybe I'll just keep it this way. Try to hide. <laughs> Wow, you're good. Um, well, first of all, thank you for joining us. Yeah, I know now you have emergency going on. You have a one-year-old. You know, you're traveling. You're doing all these things. So Drew uh, Crisman is um, a Cincinnati Bengal football, NFL football player. He is their punter. Um, he's um, Ohio State Buckeye, was, not is. And um, so he's on hiatus from the NFL for about a month and a half or so. And so what did he do? Well, you know, he first of all, he won our Show Me the Extra Mile Sunshine Award, fourth winner of it, and he was number four. So, I mean, how appropriate was that? We didn't make that up, by the way, people, okay? So that's one. Number two, during summer, while he's in Cincinnati, you know, he started doing some DoorDash on a bicycle, you know, for two reasons. One, it was he wanted to stay in shape, obviously, aerobic, good aerobic exercise and make a few bucks on the side. But while he's doing that, he discovered that his city had, um, you know, a lot of people who were in need. And so what does he do? So, Drew, you take over now and you tell us what you did, buddy. Yeah. Um, thanks for the start there. I usually have to do the whole thing. But, uh, yeah, so it started off as just a nice little way to get some exercise in the break here before the season starts. And it has certainly turned into something more to say the least and it has grown to a point where i don't think i even saw it getting to especially at this at this rate just the other day i was handing out uh three thousand dollars worth of skyline i'm not sure if you guys are even familiar with skyline um it's certainly yes, i did i saw that video i saw that short yeah, yeah i don't know if people are familiar with the actual chain that's kind of the uh cincinnati claim to fame is our chili and uh, it's, it's the local spot so they reached out to me but uh, so, yeah, I started using the DoorDash money, shout out DoorDash, um, that I was racking up and just supporting some local businesses um, and then handing the food out to anybody that I saw downtown that might have just needed to, uh, you know, smile on their face that day and uh, just a little help. And it's turned it now. People saw the videos. I've been making videos of that. And now people are just handing me food out for free to uh, go out and give back. Uh, I've got another restaurant tomorrow lined up that there's going to be give me a bunch of sandwiches and water and chips and uh so the, the city itself has really supported me and it, i think it's touched their hearts as well by seeing how much that i was wanting to uh give back so it, it's been it's been amazing and i'm excited to see where this thing can can go well i uh, i'm you know we did our interview it's on our channel by the way we did about a 20 25 minute interview more details are there because we don't want to hold you too long today but um so here's here's an nfl football player got on a bike and and you know um paid it forward i mean helping the people in need and and obviously doordash figured you out right and what did they do so tell us a little bit about doordash yeah doordash has been phenomenal i picked an amazing company to work with um, they reached out to me via social media uh, saw what i was doing and they sent me some merch they offered to uh, put a thousand dollars towards any charity that i would choose and they're going to double all of my earnings um, for the next couple of weeks here before the season. Um, so they have supported this uh, tremendously and, you know, hats off to them. I'm certainly rocking the merch. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a DoorDash fan. Um, they're really, they kind of have a monopoly of Cincinnati downtown. Not too many other, a lot of people use DoorDash over Uber Eats and other places that I've noticed. And uh, so, yeah, shout out to them. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, look, these gig apps have their good sides, bad sides. You know, everybody knows what they are, but we're not here to talk about that. But so are you when are you going back to uh, training camp? We start back to 25th. So I got about two more weeks of freedom to kind of do whatever I want. Then my free time is, is certainly dwindled down a little bit. And we'll see what opportunities that I have to be able to give back look like at that point. So, yeah, great. So, um, 
from the ride chair guy, by the way. So all the um, his uh, favorite charity or his chosen charity is Shelter House in Cincinnati. So people, the link is in the show notes. Please go donate. You know, give Drew a hand in this amazing endeavor that he took on over the last you know month or so. And I'm sure he's going to continue. Are you going to continue this every summer or every chance you get? Or is there a bigger plan in this? Because this seems like it's grown like a wildfire now. So everybody's jumping on the bandwagon here, right? Right, yeah. It's, it's certainly snowballing at this point. I don't know when it'll stop. It'll probably kind of slow down naturally just with the season and just how much uh, less free time that I'll have that I mentioned. But um, I don't know. I'm now getting you know bigger offers to give back even more than I had when I started and had more time just with – you know, the amount of, you know, companies and people around town that that love what I do it and just kind of needed a, someone else to kind of piggyback on to, you know, do it in their own way as well. So I, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I don't know what it'll look like, um, but I feel like there's a piece of the puzzle I've been missing lately. And this has been that piece. And I think it's help, going to help a lot of people. And I, I enjoy that myself as well. So I, I, I am having a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I mean, you're having fun, but you're doing great work. And I, I watch all those videos you put up on Twitter. Um, please go follow him, his social media. Um, it's, uh, I mean, it's an amazing work, right? But this goes to show that it just starts with one person. And look where he's at now. In a month, obviously, you know, social media has something to do with it. He couldn't have spread the word, you know, any other way. But, hey, is social media used for a good cause? And 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 please, you know, support Drew and what he's doing and add the ride share guy. We're you know, we could do the best we can, obviously, but uh, we're donating two hundred dollars to uh, Drew's charity shelter house in Cincinnati. Again, the link is in the show notes. Please, you know, give a hand. And then we have another plan, actually. You know, Drew, let me run this by you. One of our viewers sent me a nice email today saying that he, you know, he's so inspired by what you're doing and he's in Portland, Oregon, right? And uh, he said, you know, I'm going to do the same thing Drew is doing now as a, as a, as a ride share driver, right? And he's a full-time ride share driver. This is like his living, right? He said, I'm going to take half my tips and then go donate and buy food and give it to people in need in my city. And he said, you know, why don't we call this gigging it back? Like, you know, instead of giving it back, gigging it back, right? Because <laughs> gig with it, we're gigging it, right? So gigging it back. So Nathaniel, my brother in, on wheels, shout out to you. Um, so I think we're going to, you know, put, put a little push behind that idea. What do you think about that idea? I, I love that. No, that's, that's amazing to hear. Um, yeah, I've, I've got some messages from like parents that have seen the videos as well. And, you know, they're even wanting to use like, just like their tooth fairy money or something to do something their own way. So I think that's another beautiful thing that we touched on a little bit, which is social media. Um, you know, you see something and you just kind of find a way you can do it in your own way. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, starting up an app and giving your money out, but. It can be something in just the smallest way possible, complimenting someone throughout the day, you know, mowing your neighbor's yard uh, just, you know, out of the blue and surprising somebody. Um, it can really have a lasting effect on not only that person's day, but then they may want to they might want to pay it forward as well. So it's just, you know, kind of a ripple effect. Um, and I think I think the world needs a little bit of that more at the moment. So that, that's amazing. Amazing to hear. Um that is that well, we, we may send you some merch saying gigging it back. <laughs> oh, no, gigging it back. I love it. No, <laughs> let's, let's get some t shirts. Get some, yeah, give me some there you go. So, you know, we don't want to hold you up too much. I know you have some emergency in your basement, but uh, you know, I want to thank you for everything you have done. And you have a lifelong friend here with us, Chris, myself, the, the rideshare guy crew. And, um, you know, anything else you want to add to remaining couple of minutes? Um, you know, uh, I think I think you're an amazing human being, obviously. And, and uh, we'll keep in touch. We, you know, we're not going to let you go. You know, we're going to keep following you. And then uh, whatever you do in life, we wish you nothing the best. And uh, God bless your one year old, your wife, your family. And anything you want to add in parting? Uh, no, just God bless you, sir. You appreciate the uh, opportunity to come on here and you know, kind of support what I'm doing, um, maybe help grow this a little bit, you know, more with the platform that you have as well. Um, and then just kind of reiterate what I said lately, uh, earlier, just, you know, do something your own way. Um, doesn't have to necessarily be even if you don't want to work with me, but there's a lot of need in the world. And I think uh, if you just go out and try to do your own small part, um, if, ever, ever, if everybody does that, you know, it goes a long way. So, um, no, but thanks again for, you know, nominating, 
nominate me for being the fourth winner, number four here. And uh, it, it's been it's been awesome meeting you. All right, it's great. Uh, let's keep in touch. You always have a friend here. So, uh, again, you know, people, here you go. Give Drew a hand. Uh, wish him best. Wish you the best in the upcoming NFL season. Um, stay healthy, and God bless you, man. God bless you. Gig it back. I uh, love it. All right. Have a good one, Drew. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club, with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.